Hey everyone, my name is Riley and this video is a step-by-step -step tutorial on 11 Labs AI. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I will walk you through every element of 11 Labs, showing you how you can use this AI tool to turn text into speech, subscribe to GeForce North if this is valuable, how you can translate and dub any video into any language. Hola a todos, mi nombre es Riley y este video es as well as how you can clone your own voice and anybody else's voice that you choose. So even if you have never used any kind of AI tool before, all you have to do is follow along with this video and you will walk away as an 11 Labs expert. Now, the first thing that we have to do is sign up for an 11 Labs account. If you do not yet have an account and you would like to get a free trial of 11 Labs, you can do so using the first link down in the description. Once you click on that link, you will be taken over to this screen right here. And this is where we can sign up for your free account on 11 Labs. Just click on this yellow button right here and we can go ahead and create an account either using Google or you can enter your email and create a password. Once you have done that, you should now have your 11 Labs account and the first screen we are taken over to is this speech screen right here. We have two options, the first being text to speech and the second being speech to speech and we will get into what both of these mean but let's start off with text to speech. Under the settings, first of all, we have a model to choose. In this model section, we can choose between any of these models right here. The multilingual V2 is going to give the best results for all of these languages right here. And I wouldn't really recommend changing to any of these other language models. Apart from this one at the bottom, if you need super, super fast output, then you can use this. However, the output with this, with the V2 is pretty quick anyway. So I'm going to leave this as V2. We can then go down to this section and choose the voice that we want to go for. So we can choose from any of these. We can see the accent that it has in this purple. We can then see how this voice sounds in the blue, as well as the best category that this voice is going to be used for. For example, Callum is best for video games. Charlie is best for sounding conversational. We have news presenters. So just go down and let's take a listen to some of these voices. Allow the world to live as it chooses, and allow yourself to live as- Logic will get you from A to B. What worries you masters you. Love all, trust a few, do wrong to none. Work while you have the light. Ideas are the beginning points of all thought. Never mistake motion for action. So we can select from any of these voices, or alternatively, we can click on add voice, and this is going to allow us to get access to even more voices that we couldn't access on that main screen. We can go in here and design our own voice. So we can click in, choose the gender of this voice, the age, so whether they are young, middle-aged or old, the accent that this person is going to have, the accent strength. And then what I do is just leave this as the standard text, click on generate. First, we thought the PC was a calculator. Then we found out how to turn numbers into letters and we thought it was a typewriter. And once that voice is generated, we can then click on use voice, create a name for this. So I will just call this person Sally. And then we can add a description for how we would describe the voice. So we can type something in here, click on create voice. And now that voice is created. So if we go back over to the speech section, we can go in here and see that Sally has been generated and we can now use the voice we just created. Alternatively, we can once again go to add voice, go to add a new voice and choose from the voice library, which is all of the voices the community has created. So if we click into here, this is going to bring up all of these different voices. We have Victoria, who is a middle aged British woman, Marcus, who is a middle aged American male. We can go ahead and sample these. One may say the eternal mystery of the world is its comprehensibility. When we seek to discover the best in others, we somehow bring out the best in ourselves. And then if you like the voice that you hear, we can add this to Voice Lab, choose a title and then add voice. And then once again, if we go back to the speech section, we will have the voice that we just added right here. So I recommend going down and playing around with these and choosing the voice that you would like. But in this example, I'm just going to stick with Bill. 
We can then open up voice settings and this is going to give us these sliders where we can customize the voice settings. So first of all, under stability, the lower down we put this, the more variable and the more kind of emotion and expressive the voice will be. But this can sometimes make the voice sound off and be very different between generations. Up here, this is going to be more stable, sound more similar, but it can lead to the voice being more monotone and sounding a little bit boring. I usually stick this at around 40. However, if you have super long text, like if you are using 4,000, 5,000 words, then you want to turn this up and go for more stable, as otherwise the voice is just going to be all over the place. I also wouldn't recommend putting this in this rent section under unstable, which is why I always use 40. Under clarity and similarity, this is where we can choose how clear the voice is going to be. But once again, a warning when putting this super high is it can sometimes generate a little bit of background noise. If you put this high and then you do notice some background noise in your generation, then you can turn this down a little bit, but I usually just keep this at about 70. And then for style exaggeration, this is usually only really going to affect the output when we use this speech to speech section. And it's going to exaggerate the style of the tone a little bit more. The more you turn this up, the longer it's going to take for the actual output and the voice to be generated. And also it can lead to a little bit of instability in the speech. So I'm just going to leave this as zero for now. This is the default. And then you always want to leave speaker boost on and it gives the speech just that extra bit of clarity. I always keep this up. Next, we can go down and type out exactly what we want this text to speech to say. So I'm going to make this say subscribe to G4 North if this is valuable, and then we can click on generate. Subscribe to G4 North if this is valuable. Once that has generated, it's going to show up on the right hand side over here. So we can go ahead and play this. Subscribe to G4 North if this is valuable. And we can hear how this is going to sound. We can also download this file or delete this if you want to get rid of it. So what I would recommend doing is just keeping this text the same right here and then playing around with some of these settings just to get a really good idea of the exact settings you are looking for when creating text to speech. Next, we have this speech to speech section, and this is where you can record your own audio or upload an audio clip and have this voice, any of these selected voices here, say the exact same thing that you are saying. So what I'm going to do is just click on record audio and record some audio. Hey guys, welcome to the GeForce North YouTube channel. And this video is a tutorial on how to use 11 laps. So my audio is now recorded and then we can go up here once again, select the model we would like to use, choose the voice we would like to use. And just to show you how powerful this is, I'm going to go for a female voice. A man sees in the world what he carries in his heart. So I'm going to select Freya, leave these voice settings just like we did before. Then we can click on generate. So we can see exactly what this is going to speak right here. And one thing you will notice when saying this is because this is an American accent, having two different accents that are so, so different, you will probably hear a lot more of my accent rather than the American accent, but this is just something to be expected. So let's go ahead and see how this sounds. Hey guys, welcome to the GeForce North YouTube channel. And this video is a tutorial on how to use 11 WAPs. So as you can see, not absolutely perfect there. Definitely the accent you can hear a huge difference between, but it did what I asked it to and it turned my voice into a girl's voice. So this is the speech section. We can then go down to voices and in here, this is where we can add and delete the voices that we created earlier. We can click into edit and change the name, add different labels and add a description. We can delete certain voices from this area. And then we can add new voices just like we saw before, where we can create our own, go to the voice library, and then in this explore section on the left hand side, this is going to take us to the voice library. Under projects, this is more of an advanced speech editor, and this is better for long form content or full document conversations. And in here, this is where we can create text to speech for an entire ebook, an entire conversation, or anything that is longer for. One thing I will say about this is this is not accessible on the free plan and you actually have to upgrade your subscription to get access to this. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade right now and then I will show you what this does.
But just to cover the pricing real quick, we can see with the free plan right here, we get up to 10,000 characters per month. And the amount that we have used is going to be shown in this bottom left corner. So as you can see, I've already used 316 out of 10,000. We can create up to three custom voices in this section and a few more things right here. In this $1 plan, we can get everything in three. In free, we get three times the amount of characters, create 10 custom voices, and we can also use 11 labs for commercial purposes. Then in creator, this is $11 per month. We get 100,000 total characters, 30 custom voices, and most importantly, we get access to this project section. So I'm going to subscribe to the $11 per month plan. And now that I am subscribed, I can now go into the project section and get access to this. So all we need to do is click on create new project, and then we can choose if we want to create from empty project, initialize a project from a URL. So this is where we can take a website, an entire website, and have this done as text to speech. Or if we want to use a document like an EPUB, PDF, TXT, or HTML file to upload and have this read an ebook. In this example, I'm going to go for an ebook just to show you how this works. Let's call this ebook test. We can then choose a voice. So don't worry about this. We can change this later and I will show you how. But for now, let's just leave this as Daniel. We can then choose the model. I'm going to go for model two. Now, something you will notice is for some specific voices, multilingual V1 is going to be better than V2. So for Daniel, we get this recommendation that says switch to V1. So we can either switch to V1 or we can choose somebody else who is better for V2. So for example, maybe I can go for Bill and he is better in V2. Then we can go for the quality and choose whether this is standard, high or ultra. And once again, we actually need to upgrade this and go into the publisher plans. These are a lot more expensive and these are only going to be worth it if you are specifically using this for professional ebook publishing. I'm not and <laughs> I'm not about to spend $99 on a tutorial video. So let's go up to project and input this once again. So we can then choose the download settings. We have this option to normalize volume to meet audiobook standards. I would recommend turning this on if you are creating an audiobook. And then we can add the metadata right here, such as the title, order, and ISBN number. Once that is added, we can then go down to pronunciation dictionaries. I wouldn't really recommend going with this as it already has everything set up by default. And then down here, we can go ahead and drop in this file. And I'm going to be using a super quick ebook that I created in about five minutes. We can then click on create. And we are now taken into the editor where we can edit this ebook. So up here, we have the main control section where we can go ahead and play this. Regenerate. So let's say we go ahead and play this. And this doesn't sound quite right. Not exactly what we are looking for. We can click on regenerate and this is going to sound slightly different. So if I just go ahead and click play. Chapter one, the forgotten prophecy. That's going to load in this top section. However, if I now click regenerate. Chapter one, the forgotten prophecy. You can see that is going to sound slightly different. Now, if you want this to continue going down and read the entire section to automatically continue playing, and then most importantly, we can change the speaker on this left hand side. So I want to go for Bill and I want him to narrate all of this. We can also tweak the voice settings down here. But right here we have Zephyr and we want Zephyr's voice to be different from the main narrator. So I'm going to delete this so we can't see who is speaking. But then once this text is highlighted, we can use these paragraph settings to change the speaker. So let's listen to a few of these and see who we would want. As we are liberated from our own work while you have the light, you are resp A man is not old as long as he's seeking something. And let's use Dave. We can once again tweak the voice settings and play around with all of these. And we can also see the speaker who is speaking on this individual line by clicking on the line and then it will show us the speaker right here. So down here we have Thistle speaking. I want to edit this and once again change the speaker. So I will add this as Freya. Then we have Celestia. So I will delete this, change this to a different speaker, and we will go for Emily, and so on and so forth. And you have a good understanding of how we edit this and how this works now. 
So all we have to do is click on convert and then we can convert this entire ebook. It shows us the total characters that we will use. So we can click on convert. And now this ebook is going to be converted into an audiobook. Just like that, this is now ready. We have converted this. So we can now go up and download this. This is now downloading. So we will take a look at that once this has fully downloaded. But we can also go into the settings right here, tweak additional things like the default voice, some of the download settings right here and everything you need. But now this has fully downloaded. Let's go ahead and open this up. And let's see how this is going to sound. Chapter 1. The Forgotten Prophecy In the heart of Eldoria, whispers of the ancient prophecy reached the ears of the wise sage Argus. So you can hear how that sounds, and now I'm just going to skip along so that you can hear how these different speakers are going to sound as well. Arya sought the counsel of the reclusive sorcerer, Zephyr. The powers you seek lie dormant within. Embrace the magic that flows through you. So you can hear there that this processed everything that we wanted to. We have different speakers in different sections, and that is how we can use the project section. Next, let's talk about dubbing, and the dubbing section is where you can turn a video into a different language. So if I just title this GeForce North in Spanish, we can then change this from English to Spanish. And what I'm going to do is grab one of my videos from YouTube. All we have to do is enter in the URL right here. And I'm just going to grab this video. Hey, we can copy this URL and then go back over here, paste this in and click create. Now this is creating, this used actually a lot of my characters. So what we can do instead is go down here, choose the number of speakers, the video resolution. I always recommend keeping this as high. But most importantly, we can choose only a certain range that this is going to dub. So in here, maybe I want to say I want to do the first minute. So let's start from nothing to the first minute. So I will just go for one, zero, zero. And just like that, this is now only going to dub the first minute. Let me actually go ahead and do this as it will take less time to process. And let's take a listen to how this sounds. Hola a todos, mi nombre es Riley y este video es un tutorial completo sobre Bitrex 2020. So, as you can see, that sounds absolutely fantastic. This is similar to what channels like Mr. Beast do, where they dub their videos in different languages. However, I think Mr. Beast has an entire content team behind that. So, this is a lot easier and a lot cheaper way to do it. The final thing that I want to talk about in this 11 Labs tutorial is how you can actually clone and create different voices. So we can go up to voices once again and go to create. Now, if we click in add generative or cloned voice, we can either go for this instant voice cloning where we can upload an audio clip. So you can upload an audio clip of yourself speaking. What people I've also seen do is upload clips of people like Joe Rogan or Donald Trump or Joe Biden. And I'm sure you've seen those clips before. However, you're not meant to do this. You are supposed to have legal rights and essentially get the person's permission in order to do this. So that is the first option. You can just drop the audio clip in right there or record audio. So I'm going to click record audio and then we need 30 seconds of audio. So in here, I'm just going to go and start speaking, make this fill out for 30 seconds. Of course, I'm going to cut this now and come back when I have the full 30 seconds of speech. After that, we now have this sample. We can also add labels right here. If we want to add any labels to this, we can do accents, we can do how this sounds, and then we can add a description to this. So I'm just going to say my voice. Then we can click on confirm, just confirm you have all the rights and consent, and then click on add voice. From here, my voice has now been added. So let's go back to the speech section and really take a look at how good this is. So I'm going to select myself right here and then type something out. Once that is set up, we can click on generate. And now that is generated, let's take a listen to how this is going to sound. Hello, my name is Riley and welcome to the GeForce North YouTube channel. I would love it if you subscribed. So you can see that sounds pretty accurate and it's actually pretty scary just how much like my voice this sounds of just the 30 seconds that I gave it. But hopefully this tutorial and showing you around 11 labs has given you some value and you are now able to use 11 labs more comfortably. So that is my step-by-step -step 11 labs tutorial. 
If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.